Hello, and welcome to the University of Law. In today's video, I'm reviewing this, Doctor, The Lost Stories, The Ark. Now, uh, I remember I was on honeymoon when I when they announced this a couple of years ago, and I did um and ah, but whether to get it. I think we'd recently had at that point Return of the Cybermen, and I was in two minds about um, about getting it. Um, I didn't go for Genesis of Terror in the end, although I might do it some. I might change my mind at some point. I really like the whole idea of it being a curiosity. It's got the original scripts. It's got the original draft of Genesis of the Dark Episode One being acted out. It's got the original stage directions. It's got some great documentary footage in there with um, Philip Hinchcliffe. It's a lovely celebration of the story, and it, it. I really like the idea of it being. Um, I like the idea of it being sort of something that you can put with your collection as an extra. Uh, Almost like an extra disc of the collection set, really. More more bonus material. Um, however, obviously when you're in, on, on, on a budget with uh, which order drums you can and can't get, I tend to go with original news stories. So I'll pick up those later if I can, but pre-orders for me will be original news stories. And for this one, I kind of thought, because I know with most lost stories, they are they're original news stories, they're stories that weren't made. But the difference at the moment is they're doing a lot of stories that were made but it's original draft. Now, I was convinced that this was going to be different enough that it was probably worth buying as an original story, and it and it was. Um, it really was. Um, it's got it's got all the magic that I loved about the Ark in Space, but it was its own thing. And it was interesting, actually. It came out around the same time as the Seventh Doctor box set, which featured Naomi's Ark, which also had Harry Sullivan in. There was a little reference back to the story, which I'm not sure whether that was planned or not, but that, that worked out quite well, actually. So, you know, I really enjoyed the story. Um, it It's paced really well. It flows really well. Um, great performances from, from all involved. And, um, yeah, t t to be honest, it was reminiscent of Ark in Space, but at no point did I think I was listening to an old Ark in Space draft. It felt like an original fresh toy in, in its own right. So if that's what you're after, I'd definitely go with this. So... Um, We've got, as usual on the back, uh, we've got the um, blurb. Obviously, it's John Lucarotti's original script, who wrote the Aztecs. Um, and then we've got Jonathan Morris has adapted it uh, for the audio format. If I open it up inside, we've got reversible artwork with the Fourth Doctor's logo on. And as usual... Oh, no, there's no photographs inside this one. It's a bit larger version of the artwork. I do believe the cover design that actually is wearing the costume and has photoshopped to make his face on it. it's a lovely way of creating a new shot really like that really like that concept and is that the original model of the ark in space or the cgi i think it's the original model actually so there we go so that's that and then the story of course features over two discs big finish have as a whole moved away from these sort of single disc releases and again with box sets but actually recently we've had quite a few of these because we've had the once and future stuff we've had these lost stories and we've also had the most recent fourth doctor volume two had them um, quite a few separate cds and so it's almost like it's tea time 2012 again so here we've got return of the cybermen doomsday i'd really recommend doomsday contract if you haven't already that's brilliant and obviously that fourth doctor box set uh, yeah, it's on, on two disc episodes, three and four on this disc, episodes one and two on this disc. So did you treat yourself to this release? If you did, let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you did get Genesis of Terror, let me know what was the Hinchcliffe interview like. And that's my particular um, draw for me with that particular release. Do let me know, as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I look forward to speaking to you soon.